love in the world. The accidents don't happen all that regularly. They are so close. Wait till it gets That guy was in his trunk. So this whole trip, trip is kind of stupid. Uh, it's a little loud in here, but I don't mind. I got the headphones going on. Uh, there's a uh, tornado warning. Uh, and I'm an idiot and I'm gonna try to push through, which is really uh, stupid. I know I'm stupid. Hey, remember that time? Remember, remember that time about a minute and a half ago that uh, I said there's gonna be a uh, tornado? It looks like I have to abandon my really cool mission today. Which I know? always feel shitty abandoning a mission. I've had to abandon a lot of missions lately. Um, but there is so much traffic. There's so much traffic, tornado traffic, right? You know, uh, there's so much traffic right now that I, I can't actually make it today in time. And it really sucks because this is Friday. Uh, I really want to get those coilovers like refreshed before uh, we get down to New Jersey. And Monday is Memorial Day, so we won't be able to. On a side note, uh, you can uh, do it on this Monday, tornado so traffic is because the, the road changed because of tornado traffic. The road is still the same. What has changed though is people hit shit. And we need to have that talk. Don't hit shit. Don't do it. Uh, there are three golden rules to driving. Number one, don't hit stuff. Number two, don't cause other people to hit stuff. And number three is don't break the law. Now, having a car crash is so selfish. And I don't think you've ever heard of that before. And you're probably at home like, what? why is that selfish? It's because everybody else, the entire thing, the whole thing, we're like, the entire, everyone else is offset because of one or two people just not doing the thing that we agreed upon that we went through. It's so selfish to have a car crash. People don't mean to have car crashes. Nobody's doing that on purpose. But the reality is having a car crash is extremely dis displacing to everybody else. Most other people's day is affected by you making a mistake. And so it's really kind of aggressive and silly. Um, this truck is pushing into this lane very, very attempt num ridiculous. Attempt number two, so uh, as you can see, it doesn't stuff, matter man. on the 495 and the 95 if there's a tornado or not. Look at this, this is, I've been stuck in this for like 40 minutes. It's a beautiful sunny day, there's no reason. People just hit stuff, don't hit stuff. Top tip, it's actually selfish mm -hmm. to have a car crash. Uh, I know you don't mean to have a car crash, the but the reality very is first that you're of, of June, of May, I don't know where I am. Uh, we got knuckles going on. This is a PBM version one. Uh, this is a jig we built just to sort of be able to clone it. However, I can't find a second one of these on the other side and it's a problem. We tried to build a jig and it sort of worked, sort of didn't, not, not that important. Regardless, we are measuring today. Uh, we got the tinders open. We got the, the Arizonas with the coffee candies, but more importantly, we have the 3D scans of our uh, factory knuckles and hopefully we'll be designing some plate style knuckles. I really wanted to cast some knuckles. There's lots of casting places just north of here in Pennsylvania. There's actually a lot and there's even some OEM steering knuckle casting places, but the, the hurdle's just too big. And so we're gonna design some um, steel plate style knuckles, which is the current popular. And there's another Canadian that's making that style and, and doing well. So I might as well just not fight the... Uh... Sometimes when I am designing stuff, my brain gets full. It's maxed out all the inside here. So from here to there, and like the pressure behind, like that's all full as well. It's just full. So slowly we're designing our plate style knuckles. They're gonna be half inch thick plate that is cut, either plasma or laser or water jet or whatever, whoever will cut whatever I need, however I need to cut. I just want to abuse their services so that I can build a test unit. Now the test unit will not be the final version, I can guarantee that right now. There's going to be some things that I measured close but not perfectly, and so... I'm going to try to make it from the first try to be correct, but it's likely that I'll have to have it cut and, and built again. The annoying part isn't the plate cutting or the, like the redrawing, it's actually the welding. <laughs> My body shuts down sometimes when I'm doing this stuff. He tries to panic and uh, he tries to use anxiety as an excuse. It's like, oh, you're anxious about this idea? Is that a heavy pup? Is that a happy pup -a 
That's a heavy pop root. Oh my god. What the hell is this? Da dun. C -c -c Cobra. Powered by Ford. Powered by Ford. Uh, we have a, we have a Shelby Cobra clone that is arrived and needs some gentle engineering. Uh, it is likely that the engine and transmission are actually too low in this car, and so we actually need to move it up, which is intimidating. Look at that! Uh, it's it's the morning. We're it's early. We're up. We're alive, and the car is running. We're gonna head over to the convention center right now. Welcome to Virginia Beach. I hope you brought your bikini because mine is too tight. If you wanted to picture that. We're at the Virginia Beach Convention Center today for Sumo Fest, which is very appropriate to my bikini. And they even have a special hall for me. It's the D Hall. It's, uh, it's about 11.30 in the morning. It's at the start of the Sumo Speed Car Show. There's a lot of people here. They're hanging out. We got our booth all set up. That person is all in uh, Arizona green tea wear because she's got an Arizona green tea car down there. Um, it's really strange. There's some truly unique and creative and cool cars here. And then there's a huge waft of just kind of uh, maxed out credit cards as well. There's a balance of, of showing off our wealth versus showing off our creativity. <laughs> so I don't know if car shows are for me, but we'll have fun talking to people today. It's, you're looking at, what are we, June 6th, 7th? Today's 7th. Today's 8th. Okay. We're in the future. We're, if you're watching this from June 6th, that's too late, too early, you're too early. I'm too late with that comment and joke. Uh, it's June 8th, uh, we're on our way to Formula Drift, New Jersey. In the, it's the city of New Jersey, in the state of New Jersey, in the country of New Jersey. Welcome to a Raceway Park Sports Complex. Jake Vitamin Candy brought to you by Walgreens. Now we're coming in here. My hopes aren't as high as last event, and I'll be very clear and honest about that, but we're gonna do our best regardless. It's so exciting to be in uh, a very famous drag, drag track. Um, I remember playing this in a lot of old video games, especially for those of you at home, uh, NIRA racing for, I think, DOS. That was so super exciting. So to come, come to this, uh, not only seeing this as one of the former like NHRA like big tracks, but to see it kind of a little bit dilapidated and then like repurposed is kind of extra exciting. So that's really neat to see this. So I, I'll be honest with you. I'm not as hopeful for this round. I want to be. Um, my hope is a little bit low. I spent a lot of money, a lot of my time, but the car is where I don't like the car. I don't like where the car is at. So it kind of sucks. But I'm very excited to, to experience this culture. Uh, we had Orlando, and now I'm going to get a, a bit of a, a more... I don't know. I don't know where... This feels different, if that makes sense. Um, I'm going to work hard this weekend. I'm going to make sure everybody keeps up their spirits and their hopes. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing I did in Orlando, which is try my best to, to be the best teammate and work hard. But my, my heart hurts a little bit from not getting my suspension mods and, and the steering improved on the car and I'm very embarrassed by that so I hope we do well and all I want is just one win battle but we'll get there someday I put a belt on every day I just can't figure it out today today's not the day for the belt it's not I should go beltless right what do you think in the comments should he go beltless? Vote now. Belt? No belt? You Virgin. tell me. <laughs> it's Thursday. It's Thursday. I know. It's Thursday. Oh my god. Uh, the car is ready, quote unquote ready. Uh, we're only a couple moments away 
from operating on the racetrack. Uh, how are you feeling about this? I'm feeling good. It's gonna be a great time. Yeah. W what's good mean? That's a really good question. I don't know. What is good supposed to mean? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling confident. I think Alex is gonna go out, take a couple rounds, sort out the initiation because he's talking about changing up from last season. Uh, and then come out and kill it and get everything knocked down. We're gonna qualify number one. Number one. was about run it, running scrubs for the weekend so that we would change our own scrubs. We got one tire off, but our tire machine broke. Abunai. Smoke fills the air. As some gentlemen cool a motor. We've experienced what we believe is a uh, collapsed lifter. So it's time to check out the collapsed lifter. To give you context to where we're at right now, uh, it's about 5.30ish in the afternoon. We've got about an hour and a half to qualifying. We just got the car feeling good and we get, we get this very aggressive motor ticking. So uh, we're gonna see what it is and hopefully we'll have enough motor to qualify and we'll make some decisions from there. What'd you get? Push rod! Push rod! Push rod! Push rod! Push rod! Push rod! Stock LS3. Hell yeah, hell yeah.
Sultan of Small Talk. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Larger than life. It's totally true. Yeah. The van's yeah. rocking them total. Have you not seen drifting yet? Not yet. You're at a Formula Drift event. And I've not seen it. You've not seen it? I can't hear You can hear it. I can hear it though. It's loud. You, why'd you come here then? Were you saying something? What? Exactly. Why'd you come here? Because these guys. Look That's at you right. guys. That guy? You made such a favorable impression on me. I said, I'm definitely going to have to see these guys. He's no. been here for like 10 minutes. We've already taken all of his money. That's it. It's empty, guys. Yeah. Was that a shot of my butt? Yeah. I, I meant that in all the ways I meant that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, would you like to see drifting for the first time? I will. We're gonna go see that. Do that. Okay. I want. I want to be there for that. Okay, we'll do that. Yeah. You see that? You see that? I can't. I'm, I'm focused on oh. on you. Got the camera on. Yeah, I can't. I can't look over there. You you can hit the stop. The stop button works. This man, the Sultan of Small Talk, just told me to stop. Stop the camera. Stop the camera. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, yes. <laughs> I was You've been drifting for what, 12 years? You're a uh, drifter, Since 2003. Right? Yeah. So, so we're at 19 time. years, yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Your parents are really proud of you, right? My, my mom likes me regardless, yeah, <laughs> no matter what I do. You've entered English Town, New Jersey, a famous, a formerly famous drag racing strip, internationally famous drag racing strip. Drifting has won over the tradition of drag racing and has converted the surface into a premier and probably the only drift stadium wow. in the world now. Oh. And it's exclusively drift? Exclusively drift. What in the world? The accidents <laughs> don't happen all that regularly. They are so close. Ooh. Wait till it gets That up. guy was in his trunk. <laughs> the guy was rattling around in his trunk. Yeah, wait, wait till, till the wait. Gets here, That's so. crazy. How does one start out doing this kind of thing? You just jump in a car floor and then just take off? Like, yeah, you drive as fast as you can to this wall right here. Just oh, that's wall. how you do it? That's how you start. Oh, right. that's the master class. You hit that wall. And then oh, you initiate. Right. And then you I want you to know, he's got a Rugrats hat. You don't have to listen to everything he says. All right. He's First and foremost. Questionable. Rugrats. It's all Rugrats. questionable. Rugrats is dope, right? It's not dope. Is Rugrats? Adult Rugrats, though? Will they become adults? Uh, I don't know. That one was kind of all right. That was Yes, that's why that car is broken right now. Okay. Oh, okay. Wow. Did you, did you see how I wrecked? Would it be better with windshield wipers really fast? <laughs> Does that work? I'm not good at science, per se. <laughs> that's an exclusive. Look, I'm still loading. I did a live. I put in everybody's name, I hit a button. And look who win, Mr. Ryan. Look by, I'll buy it a little. Oh my get up god! Up How fucking crazy Dude, is that, bro? That's nuts. Thank you, man. That is nuts. Is that yours? Look what he's won, dude. That is nuts. <laughs> How crazy is that? Bro, bro, hey, for real? I gotta thank you, though. You have to carry this out with you. Welcome to the side of the highway. It's, I think, Tuesday. I'm taking a stress break. I was driving down the highway. I was like, I gotta drop these busted ass coilovers off to Fortunato for the third time this year um, and needed a stress break 
Welcome. Well, welcome to the stress break. I'm now dropping our coilovers off for the third time this year because uh, uh, we hit some stuff. And I was driving on the highway and I realized that like I couldn't focus on what I was doing with the car. I'm usually a very smooth, calm, patient uh, driver. And I was making some hasty decisions. I was like, man, you need to take a break. So the coilover is going to get down there just a little bit late, but I'm going to take a moment to yeah, chill out. Um, I had, I had, I have, I'm still full of strong emotions. I'm full of them. Uh, FD University is hard. <laughs> I think I've lost a little bit of weight, to be fair. Um, and I've lost a lot of money, <laughs> which is just fine. Uh, that's what school costs. That's okay. Uh, I'm learning a lot. I'm learning a lot. None of this, none of this information that's coming to you right now is absolutely of any use or interest to you. This video, this chunk of this video, this thing of me recording my feelings right now is useless. But I'm realizing that my tiredness is catching up with me, um, and there is a lot of people asking stuff of me, which is great. It means that I'm valuable. Um, but oh, I just bottlenecked. It's so complicated. I bottlenecked right now. I hate money. Uh, <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. I don't want any. I don't want. It. I want everybody to leave me alone with money. Stop trying to pay me. Don't pay me. Don't give me money. I don't want that. Give me access to money, but I don't want the money. Um, if anything, just give me access to resources, and I'll provide you with really great stuff. If I can skip that whole money thing, that's awesome. Uh, I hate money. It's fucking disgusting. It's disgusting and it's it's embarrassing. If you have a lot of it, feel embarrassed, if that makes sense. Um, if you're motivated by, by money, have some sort of embarrassment. Because uh, if it was anything else, if you just had like this insane collection of apples, if you had a collection of stripped out bolts, if you had a collection of like the stuff that just says, it's just useless. So like, why? anyway, so that's all I, I'm ranting right now. I have a lot of feelings. I'm just getting my stress out. Um, I'm very excited for the steering angle upgrades, hopefully. Uh, I'm very excited for um, some driving changes as well. Uh, we have our driver, well, we have Alex going for um, uh, some professional review, if that makes sense, with Takayano, uh, which is really exciting. Um, from, ner from a nerd perspective, it's very exciting. Um, this is nothing. I'm not going to use this in the video. Why am I talking to you right now? You, this is stuff that you don't need to see or hear. It's not a, of interest or benefit or help to you. So I'm just recording nothing. Um, but it's for my own therapy, I guess. <sighs> okay.